Wow, look at all this amazing old stuff. And look at this beautiful wedding dress. It still looks great, and it's almost 100 years old. Yours can look great after 100 years, too. The key is to treat it like a museum piece. And that means cleaning and storing it properly. Unseen stains can oxidize and appear in the weeks and months after your wedding if you don't treat it. Here's how to keep your gown gorgeous for years to come. The big day is over, and while your memories may last a lifetime, there's no guarantee your dress will. You might have stains on it that you can't see, and then in storage it can oxidize and become a brown stain. Alison Graham is a museum textiles conservationist, so it's her job to know how to preserve fabrics. And of course it's important to choose a quality cleaner, but that's especially true if you have a dress with beads or pearls on it. If the cleaner uses the wrong solution, your dress could be ruined. Sometimes they put them in the cleaner and then there's a pile of the shell, the lacquer from the beads and the trap at the end of the cleaning process because the bead dissolved. Ask friends or even at your local museum to find a cleaner who knows what he's doing. We'll go through and we'll test the green, the two shades of pink. It usually takes a professionally trained cleaner to understand how to deal with the different fabrics and construction, so ask where they've been trained. The IFI, the International Fabric Care Institution, is one association that Allison recommends. And expect to pay between $150 and $300. But don't trust a quote given over the phone, since a good dry cleaner will want to see the dress to analyze how intricate it is before giving you a price. And when you pick it up, be sure to inspect the work. Ooh, nice. Once your dress has been cleaned, it's time to store it properly. But make sure you're not just paying for a pretty box. Cardboard and tissue paper will acidify over time, actually causing your dress to scorch. So get an archival quality textile box. This one is made from plastic with um, acid-free tissue paper or unbleached muslin to wrap the dress in. Now, you never want the box to be taped shut. A removable lid will allow for air circulation, and that prevents moisture and mildew buildup. It will also allow you to open it and put it back on again. Otherwise, what would you do on Friday nights? Just make sure you wear gloves or wash your hands before handling your dress. And never accept a warranty that's void if you open the box. With proper care, you can wear your wedding dress again on your 50th anniversary, providing it still fits.